This program contains scenes of nonsensical garbage and coarse language and is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Why, hello, my little dumplings. How are you? I know you haven't seen me in a while. And it's because I didn't have air conditioning, okay? <laughs> and if you live in Florida and you don't have air conditioning, then you know what kind of monster you become. You are no longer human. You become a feral beast. And trust me when I say you don't want to see that side of me. Okay, you think I'm mean now? <laughs> Wait till you see me with four days without air conditioning. <laughs> your face would be ripped off your body. Anyway, welcome to Trying New Makeup Monday. I am going to try to do these videos on Monday and I emphasize on the word try because we all know what happens when I say something. It never happens, but we're gonna try it though because I need to work smarter, not harder. And I have a lot of new makeup and I kind of want to just leave it for Mondays and do more fun videos during the week, uh, like my starting over series, makeup graveyard, playing with older makeup. You know, I want to kind of mix it up a little bit, but I still love new makeup and we're just going to dump it on Mondays. Unless of course there's like a collection or something that's like really fun that comes out where I feel like it's going to be a dedicated video, but for the most part, everything is just going to be left for Monday. So yay, we love that for me. Okay, so in today's video, I have four different products that we're gonna be playing with. Three of them I purchased and one of them I did receive in PR. So uh, the first one is going to be the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation. <sighs> we have the Hourglass Holiday Palette in Dragon because I was bullied by you people. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, I was bullied a little bit. <laughs> but also like, I bought it. Anyway, we're gonna be talking about this thing as well, as well as this little holiday palette from Dior that's breaking my heart, okay? And I was initially going to talk about the Bella Beauty Bar Poison Garden Palette because I've been playing with this palette lately and I love it. If you've seen my last video, which if you haven't, please go watch it, okay? Please go, please go show me some love, all right? And also answer my very important question that I have in that video. <laughs> also go watch the ad. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but like, I was really proud of that ad. There's a whole dramatic reenactment. I was very proud of it, all right? You know, giant skeleton, it was, it was, it was fun. Anyway, point is the palette Poison Garden, which is this guy right here, is the look, uh, is, is the look, is the look, is, is the eye look. Wait, can I say that again? Let me take that back, hold on. The eye look that I had on in that video, it was from this palette. There you go, Teresa, you know words. This is an awesome palette. I was gonna talk about this, but y'all know in the world of new makeup, okay? Nobody gives a shit about old things. <laughs> we only care about what's coming out now. And this is something that is going to be launching on October 4th, I believe. And if I'm wrong, I'll put it right here, but I'll put all the information and what whatnot. But this is Bella Beauty Bar's uh, Vamp Palette. And this Vamp Palette is a doozy, my friends. There is a Tin Man silver up in this bitch that we are going to use today because I cannot wait. And it is slightly darker than my beloved Moschino Sephora Bear Palette, but I will say that it actually comes really close to being like a silver that I feel like I will frequently use because the swatch of it doesn't seem like it has a weird kind of, you know, bluish or purplish or like pinkish undertone. Kind of just looks like a, a nice, like dark silver color. Anyway, we'll get more into that palette and stuff, but we're gonna be talking about this today. So um, yeah, and y'all know the drill, whether this is sent to me in PR or I spend my own money. I will give you my full honest thoughts because that's just how we do shit on this channel. And uh, yeah, I dyed my hair. I had a refresh the other day because I looked like a sewer rat. <laughs> No, seriously, it, it ruined me. Not having air conditioning, which by the way, it has nothing to do with the storm. It had nothing to do with Helene. It was just my air conditioning deciding to like, I don't know, f itself. <sighs> anyway, because of that, uh, I looked horrible. So um, yeah, I now feel refreshed. My house is 71 degrees, which I mean, it's slowly catching up. I prefer it to be 55, no, I'm kidding. I prefer it to be like 68. What can I say? I like to live in a meat locker, but um, we're on our way. Uh, but let me tell you, the past few days, <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. I don't know who I was. Anyway, I think what I wanna do is kinda start with my base, but being that we are using silver sparkly eyeshadow, part of me is like, maybe we should just do eyeshadow first and then do the rest. 
Maybe we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, we'll do that. So I'm gonna go in with some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer because this has just been uh, my bread and butter as of late. I'm gonna do one eye on camera, do the other one off because I don't have a lot of time today. I gotta do a lot of crap. Because of the not having air conditioning, everything kind of got f***ed up. So I have to, um, you know, get my shit together. And I gotta work really, really hard because a lot of things are ramping up. So. Without further ado, we're gonna go into the shade Coffin, which is this beautiful gray down here. And it is very pigmented, as Bella Beauty Bar shadows are. And we're just gonna pop this bitch into the crease. Yeah, so last four days. It's actually kind of funny with my uh, <laughs> air conditioner. Again, had nothing to do. <laughs> I had nothing to do with anything. It just decided to shit out on itself. And I noticed it on Tuesday, I was working, I was agitated as per usual, and I started getting hot. And I thought to myself, oh, it's because I'm agitated. No, it's because the house was getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So by the time I realized there was something wrong, it was about 79 degrees in the house. And I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. And it just felt really sticky. I was like, that's weird. So the beauty about renting is that you are at the mercy of your property management company. And you know what's great? When your property management company is not even in the same state as you. They're in Texas, because that makes a lot of sense. And then you have to call that Texas number over and over and over again and get transferred to the maintenance line for people who really don't give a shit about your situation and literally plead your case that they need to send somebody so that the neighbors don't find your corpse. Okay. <laughs> and this property management company, I, <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna go into the shade Eternal, which is right next to it. It's like a light blue shade. It's gonna blend out uh, that gray. Maybe a little bit softer. Um, yeah. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's really annoying when you have to like beg <laughs> and you gotta provide all these pictures and you talk to like so many different people to just get an answer something. And I really tried, I tried to throw everything at them I could to make it seem like you need to come here now. Okay. In hindsight, I probably should have said there was a demon or something in the house. I feel like they probably would have act faster next time. I actually hope there is never a next time. Shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I mean, literally did everything that I could uh, to try to, you know, <laughs> get them to come. And of course, the day that they decide to finally schedule somebody, it was the the hurricane hit that evening, so they were gonna come the next day. And I was like, oh, fuck. I am very thankful that we were unscathed during the hurricane. I know there are so many that were not as lucky and my heart goes out to them. It is insane, insane, the devastation. Towns, com beach communities are completely gone. I was actually at Madeira Beach uh, past January with my coworkers on a lovely work retreat. And that whole little beach town is, is pretty much just underwater. There was a really cute cafe, I think called Sweet Brunette, uh, that was pretty much devastated. And I had a very awkward breakfast with my coworkers there. <laughs> it was fun memories. And I hate that that place is, you know, flooded and all kinds of shit. Um, a lot of people lost everything in a blink of an eye. It's scary. Like hurricanes are really no f joke and they are terrifying and especially at night and the water, it's it's scary. So I'm thankful that, I, that we were safe and I know there's a couple more hurricanes that are gonna be uh, the next two weeks. So here's hoping that everybody, um, I don't know, that the hurricanes die in the sea and that we are all unscathed because I don't think, I don't think we can handle anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can handle, I think we're good. I think we're all set. We're all set. Yeah, we're all set. So hurricanes, we're good. Go back to where you belong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just go, go now, thank you. So yeah, uh, so it's been kind of uh, wild, uh, but thankfully on the Friday, we had a lovely technician named Charlie. Very, very nice man. Uh, come and took him a few hours, but he figured out the problem. Apparently there was a fuse that was blown, which kind of made no sense. Actually, I don't really understand how it happened, but there was no fuse and there was no Freon. So yeah, Charlie saved the day. I am forever thankful for that man. Could have fucking kissed him when he figured out uh, what was wrong. So, thank you, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> we are giving you vampire today. Holy shit. I like this though. The mats are, are matting, you know what I mean? 
If you are familiar with Bella Beauty Bar, then you know that their mattes are really nice and that they usually blend very seamlessly and beautifully into the skin. You don't really have to deal with too much bullshit. I don't see any patchiness or like skipping or anything like that. This is good. So I'm just gonna really just make that kind of dark and moody. I'm sure some of y'all are curious, you know, having like four days without air conditioning in this house getting up to like almost 90 with humidity. Oh God. Um, I don't think some of my makeup made it. I haven't really gone through properly, but I did get some like PR from ColourPop, right? Like the After Hours collection. Had to throw out some stuff because the shit was melted and all kinds of shit. So I have to go through my lipstick collection because I got to see what actually survived as well as all my cream products. I'm hoping that I don't have a lot of shit um, that got fucked up, but I kind of have a, f ah, I kind of have a feeling I do. And that makes me really fucking sad. So, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Hopefully it's not as bad as I think it is. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of NYX glitter glue and I am going to paint the lid. So I'm gonna go into Daylight Ring. Ooh, God damn, okay. Wow, 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 okay, wow. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush because I just wanna get into the corners. I also have hooded eyes too, so. I wanna make sure that it is where it needs to be. I think I need another brush. So I'm gonna leave it right there because what I wanna do, take like a packing brush, the number two from Ruffer comes to mind, and I'm gonna go into Mickelson. Ugh, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I should know my vampire lore, I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, but I'm gonna go into that one, which is a black with red sparkles. And I think we're just going to Wow, that is a very intense black. Wow, that is, that's intense, okay. <laughs> okay, damn, I was not expecting that. Also, shout out to them because I was a little worried and the reason why I was like, no, let me just do my eye makeup first just in case I don't have to deal with any bullshit like fallout, but no, like, I mean, I do have a little bit, but like, Nothing, nothing compared to some brands that just look like uh, Tinkerbell just took a huge shit on my face. So thank you. This looks good. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that silver. I'm not taking any more on it, but just what I have on the brush as it is and really just kind of go over where that black is to make it a little bit more seamless. So it doesn't look super harsh. I'm trying anyway. I mean, I feel <laughs> I feel like I, I look like a little vampire and I like it. I like it. This is fun. I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush though. Just really just kind of soften up those edges. I'll clean it up when I put foundation on, but I didn't want it to be like, <gasps> you know what I mean? <laughs> the, there's a time and a place and maybe that time and place is right now. I mean, I really love this though. I think with my new whatever silver white hair, I basically just look like, I don't know, I look like a bitch that owns a coffee shop that's like, we don't serve people like you here. Which actually that's kind of sounds kind of mean. Um, huh. <laughs> Maybe I feel like I'm just too cool. You know what I mean? Like you can take your hipster ass to Starbucks. You know, like one of those people. That's what I feel like when I'm wearing this. I should have a nose ring and there should be like no prices in my coffee shop. Yeah. Okay, maybe I sound like a piece of shit, actually. <laughs> I'm supposed to be cool, not a fucking idiot. All right, anyway, I like this. This is fun. Okay, so what I wanna do now, I'm gonna go back to that black shade because I think any other color would not look that great. And I'm just gonna use it really close to the lash line, like right there, just to create a little bit of a liner moment. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, that's perfection. Yeah, there's a little bit of fallout, but like nothing too, nothing too crazy. So I'm going to do the other side. I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna come back and we are going to jump into foundation. Okay, all right, my face is a little red. <sighs> I was talking on Marco Polo. I was getting heated. Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. We're gonna jump into the Huda thing, but I'm going to use my favorite primer ever, Virtual Defeat Thorn Oil. If you ever wanna try it, use the code 
Teresa Tan. Save to, oh, the little ball came out. Oh, please. There's a little ball at the bottom of it, of the uh, thorn oil. Shakes it, gives it that fun sound, that Morocco sound. <laughs> and it came out. I just had to shove that shit back in. All right. I'm sure there's also probably a technical term and not Morocco. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for it, but I digress. Yay. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to add a little bit of a color corrector. My face is gnarly, so I'm just going to get rid of some of that redness. This foundation does have a, like a nice amount of coverage, but I'm just a little bit more red than I like to be, so we got to get rid of it. All right, the Easy Blur Natural Airbrush Foundation. I've been using it for a little bit now. I like it. The color is, <laughs> the color is very fun. This is a 120B Vanilla. I feel like I had a little bit of um, a challenge trying to find my match. Thankfully, I went into the store to see it because I think if I had to buy it online, I don't think it would have worked out very well for me. This one is the best shade though, but not like, a super perfect match. I feel like it might be a little bit too light, but I think the, sh the shade above this one though, that one was a little bit too dark. I look so funny. <laughs> I like applying it with a brush, but I feel like it's almost too much. Like it doesn't really melt into the skin the way that I want it to. So I have to come in with a sponge to really push in the product, which uh, listen, I'm not mad at by any means, but I prefer a foundation that really just melts in where I don't need to have to do like so many steps. I have to say that this is a lot of steps, but see, it kind of just like sits on top. Even when I like do this, I don't know. It just doesn't really blend all that well. Like I need a sponge to really just push it in to give me that uh, true airbrushed effect uh, that this gives you. I am gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here because I kind of see, let me just take like a little right there. All right, let me just push that in. A little trusty sponge. Now I know there's a primer that also uh, was released at the same time as a foundation. And I remember the sales associate being like, oh, that is actually better than the foundation. I haven't tried it. I need to read a little bit more about it to see it's, if it's what I want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> if it's what I'm looking for, uh, but I'm okay with like, you know, not trying it too. <laughs> but I do, I do, you know what? I do like this foundation. I think it pairs nicely with my thorn oil. I don't have any issues with like longevity or it just drying my skin out or anything like that. I think the only time I didn't like this was when I was using the uh, Milk Makeup uh, primer, the new primer that came out, which we'll feature next week. But I wanna use that with uh, one of my favorite foundations uh, cause I'm still playing with it. Cause I kind of want to see if there's a way that I can make it work. I don't think I will find a way, <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm trying to be hopeful, All right? But uh, we're looking good. We're looking really cute. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer and uh, some powder, and then we are going to move on to the rest of this face. Huh, I know, I feel like I'm extra white. Uh, I don't mean to be, <laughs> it just kind of happened. Okay, so let's talk about this stupid palette. I don't like this, y'all. You know, I, <laughs> I was told that this bronzer was supposed to be cool tone. It is not cool tone. It is warm tone, and I just don't like how it, looks on me. I don't love it. Maybe today might be a little bit different, but the literally the six times I played with this palette, probably more than that, it's just, it's always like fucking just orangey and I hate it. Also, can we talk about the placement of the shades in this one? I hate that this one is in the middle. It needs to be on the end because it's really hard. First of all, I have, thank God, Singe has a tiny brush because I don't have like a small brush to put for bronzer without it like dipping into the blush or the highlighter, which is kind of annoying. First world problems, I know, but I just, ugh, I hate it. So these ambient lighting palettes retail for $90 a piece. They are a hefty, hefty bitch. Much like last year, there are three of them that were released. I have it in the lightest shade or like the fairest shade. There's another one that could potentially work for me, which is the Evil Eye one. I almost bought that one, but basically 
based off my experience with this one, I don't know if I will pick that one up. There's also a brush that I was thinking about getting too, but it's double-sided and, and I don't like that. So I'm not picking that up. But if you were able to get last year's brush, <laughs> and you know how wonderful it is, okay? Now I was bullied into getting this because so many people were like, oh, the bronzer's cool tone. And I was like, okay, fine. You twisted my arm. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but seriously, they were like, it's cool tone. You're an idiot. You should buy it. I'm like, okay, I bought it. Um, and now I'm not happy. I'm not happy with it. So I'm gonna go in to the bronzer shade. Now the bronzer shade in this is called Soft Bronze. Soft Bronze. All right, go in with the tiniest, the tiniest, tiniest brush, the Singe Beauty F06. I don't know why I had to say it like that. See, it's like warm. I don't like it. <laughs> That's the problem with this palette. I feel like it's just, really like just warm. And I was hoping that it would be more cool or neutral, but I'm afraid it is warm. It also kind of feels a little patchy, right? Now, what's on this brush is pretty much the powder that I put on my face, which is the uh, Tarte Creaseless Powder. <laughs> bitch if you know you know but I am gonna go into this though and use the shade dream light and divine light yes which are the two finishing powders I'm gonna go in a little bit with these two okay okay that looks better but then it also looks like I took the bronzer away right <laughs> okay all right I mean it looks uh, no it looks like I took the bronzer away maybe it looks like a little bit the fuck all right let's try that again then again that's the whole idea, right? It's supposed to have that airbrush, barely there effect. It's supposed to look like it's natural. So that's totally a preference thing. I'm sure, some people are like, it looks fine, Teresa. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> you. <laughs> no, seriously, fuck you. But also, I love you. But also, fuck you. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go back in to those two and just really just try to make this look a little bit better. Okay. All right, I think that looks better. Not in love with it. Still feels very warm in my opinion, but not terrible though. Okay, you know what? Maybe, 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 maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> it's still warm. Okay, it's not cool tone, but it does look exponentially better. And I think what helps it is by mixing those two uh, finishing powders because I think it gives it a much more uh, dreamy sculpted it's it's not emphasizing the warmth that I just cannot stand you know what I mean like I'm actually not that mad at it imagine me not that mad at something right <laughs> now I did throw a little bit on my forehead some of the bronzer and I'm just kind of going over it with both of those setting powders. Okay, okay, maybe I like the palette after all. Maybe I look cute, all right? Maybe I look cute. Maybe I should pick up the other palette. I'm gonna wait though. <laughs> all right, there's two blushes in here. One is more pink, one is definitely more um, just peachy. So Mm, we're gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with the pink one, but you see the pink one's pretty light, but that's okay though, because we're gonna go over it with some of that Dior face palette. Watch that be actually good too today. And then I'm gonna be like, I don't know anything anymore. <laughs> Cause I was so hell bent. I mean like this sucks. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm gonna go into that shade, uh, not peach fusion, mauve haze, mauve haze. Even the mauve haze kind of looks a little bit peach, you know? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things. I'm clearly seeing things. I'm gonna go back into that one brush that I had those beautiful finishing powders on. So what I kind of do love about these palettes, the finishing powders really do kind of melt everything into the skin. Now, I'm not leaving the house today because if I left the house like this, I would die. <laughs> too much powder. This would definitely be my more winter look. I'm going to New York uh, for uh, Thanksgiving, which I'm super excited about. And I think this would, may, dare I say, be a more appropriate palette for me to take when I go, because I like it. God, I hate when I have to eat my words. So I'm such a stupid bitch. <laughs> no, I'm actually happy. That makes me happy because let me tell you, I was low-key pissed uh, that I spent $90 on this thing and I was like, what the fuck? But it's still warm town now. That's my only 
my only beef. I wish it was a cool tone bronzer, but I, I am gonna go to uh, Sephora because I wanna see the other one in person. And then if there is a sale coming up, I'll definitely pick up that one. Um, now what I wanna do is actually go in to both of these setting powders and just carve that whole area out. What's kind of nice about the hourglass powder is that no matter how much you put on your face, it doesn't make it like kicky or clumpy or anything like that. It really just truly just melts into your skin. And y'all see, I put on 25 pounds of it. So, and so doesn't look like I'm being weighed down. Great. Okay, so the Dior. Ugh. Here's my, my problem with this is that the glitter highlighters are so just, mm, not great, Jan, not great. They're very dusty. They're very sparkly and not in a good way. I like these powders. Now I shouldn't say I like these powders personally, but I like the backstage quads because normally for like a highlighter palette, they are very seamless and they are slick and they don't have any like micro glitter or any kind of bullshit. Like my favorite quad is the pink one, which you can't even find that one anymore. That's a shame. That should have been a permanent one. But when I saw this, I was like, Ooh, oh, I'm hopeful that this is going to be everything that I want it to be. No. <laughs> So you have uh, two glitters, one blush and one a uh, strobe. The strobe coral shade barely shows up, just barely. It doesn't really do much of anything. The pink, I feel like I'm gonna have a little bit more luck today. So we're actually gonna pop that pink on uh, top of what I have on now in hopes that I don't know, something will show up, but then I'll show you the highlighter. Now the Hourglass palette has a highlighter. That highlighter is great. I have no problem with it. Uh, maybe we'll do one highlighter on one side and the other one we won't. The blush definitely has more of like a highlighter to it. So I really wouldn't even call it necessarily a blush. It's definitely a highlighter, um, which I'm not mad at, but like I was kind of hoping that it wasn't just gonna be straight up like fucking highlighter. All right, whatever. Might as well just do it to the other side too. You also see like it doesn't really add um, much color or anything. It's just kind of adding more of a, a sheen. So I really wish they wouldn't call this a blush. It's a highlighter. Kind of. I'm gonna go back into that hourglass blush again, just a little bit. Cause I feel like I'm losing that mauve, mauve shade. And it's funny too, because like when I start to like buff it into the skin, uh, it kind of like disappears a little bit. It's not the palette that I'm used to that I love. So I'm gonna go into uh, both the glitter, the icy blue and the white. Yeah, it's just, it's sparkle. That's, that's all it is. If you don't like sparkle in your shit, you're not going to like this so much. Like it's fine, but it's like, I know these palettes to like really look like sick when it comes to like the highlighter aspect of it. And this just looks, I don't know, it doesn't look special. It just, it just looks okay. I'm more annoyed that there is just all this like just loose hanging sparkle. And then again, as I start to like buff it out to like melt into the skin kind of just disappears. So it's like, yeah, it was just straight up fucking glitter the whole time. <laughs> At least there are some highlighters in my collection, you know, that, okay, might have like a glittery kind of, um, you know, bullshit sparkle Tinkerbell shit on my face situation, but at least it'll stay on my face. Like I'm gonna try it again, add more, right? Okay. For safe measures, I'm gonna add even more. Okay, all right, I'm gonna buff it back into the skin. Is this the time it's gonna stay? Now what I have left <laughs> on my face is some highlighter here where it's emphasizing texture on my cheek that I didn't realize I had. And then it's sitting in all the little fine lines that I have right here. Again, reminding me that I'll be turning 39 uh, in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, I don't love it, Jan. I don't love it. I don't love it. I'm gonna go back into that mauve shade because I feel like I lost my blush on this side. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go into the highlighter that is in this palette. I feel like this side is just too far gone because there's just so much, so much texture right there. <sighs> Thank God I'm not leaving the house today. 
All right, all right, all right. Okay, so basically what I did was add a little bit of like salmon in the uh, waterline. Salmon, it's not even what it's called. What is this called? Shady Lane from ColourPop. I added a little bit of that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the shade Drained just under, underneath it. Take a nice clean brush and just buff out those edges like so. And then I'm gonna go into, oof, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the shade Skin of a Killer, which is down here. And we, ooh, I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner. Oh, that's fun. That's super sparkly. Damn, okay, I'm gonna throw on some mascara, put a lipstick on, and we're gonna just chat about it. And here you have the completed look. I look like a little baby vampire who basically moonlights as a shitty, annoying barista. Let's start off with foundation. This is the Easy Blur from Huda Beauty. I've been playing with it for a little bit now. I like this. I think it's really nice and I feel like I haven't had any sort of weird issues other than the one time that I paired this with the Milk Makeup Primer. That one sucked. But when I use this with my Tried and True, my Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil, I think it looks beautiful. I think my only complaints are one, the fact that it doesn't really melt into my skin. I kind of have to like push it into my skin. Otherwise it just kind of sits on top. Like I don't mind putting it on with a brush because as you can see, like it is really intense coverage, but it just looks like paint. It's when I push it in with the sponge, it really just looks like my skin, but better. It has really good coverage, but I don't necessarily think that this is like my ideal shade. I think I'm somewhere in between the shade and the shade above this, but if I would have went with the shade above this, it would have looked really too deep for me. So I'm kind of like in between. I rather go towards the lighter foundation because I can at least make it work uh, where I can add some bronzer to really warm up my skin. Otherwise, if I go the other way, I have to add a shitload of concealer that is just painful. You know what I mean? Like just so much to not make me look problematic. So yeah, so the shade range wasn't a complete hit for me, but I made it work. So I'm not too upset about that. I think I'm more annoyed. I don't even want to say the word annoyed because it's not that. I'm just more like, Oh, I'm not mad. I'm just slightly disappointed with the fact that I need to press this into the skin. Um, but again, it's not the end of the world. Uh, fucking sponges exist. Now I have used it with my hands. And again, I still feel like I need to use it with my sponge because it just melts better when I push it in as opposed to trying to like blend it out with my fingers. So I like this. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this. Um, I would and I wouldn't. And I say that because there are a lot of foundations I have tried over the years that I think I would repurchase faster than I would this, but it's not to say that I wouldn't. Um, so if it ever came to a situation where this was like my only option, I wouldn't be upset with it, but there are things that I like more that I would repurchase faster than I would this. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I like this. If you were interested in trying this, I think the price point, I don't know it off the top of my head. So I'll put the price point right here. I felt like it's pretty fair. I don't know. I I feel like when it comes to kind of like these products, not necessarily the eyeshadows, except it's like the little like nine pans. Those I feel like are appropriately priced, but everything else like the blushes and the foundations and stuff, I always feel like they are priced really well. So if you didn't pick this up on sale, I don't think you'll be annoyed, but if you can wait for a sale, that's even better. Save yourself a little bit of coin. So yeah, so this was fun. This was a lot of fun. Also for concealer, I'm still using the Ritual Defeat. Bitch. I love it so and it pairs very beautifully okay moving on to the hourglass palette i really wanted to just jog the shit out of it because i was so pissed that the bronzer was super warm but i think after i had you know some time to really process things and not be such a stupid bitch i think this is actually pretty decent however there are some things that i wish they could change one of them being the placement of the bronzer i hate that it's in the middle because you really need a very small brush otherwise um you're going to be getting blush and highlighter all up in there so i kind of wish the bronzer was at the end so i'm annoyed about that the two blush choices I don't know. I feel like they're both warm. I think that's my issue with this palette. Like I thought it was supposed to be like a cool tone, like more neutral palette. And it just feels like just more warm shit, you know? Um, and I think that's where I'm like a little sad because I just wanted it to be a little bit more neutral or a little bit more cool, not necessarily warm. So the bronzer being warm is not my favorite, but I think it looks a lot nicer when you pair both of the finishing powders on top of it. It definitely takes out that just orange, 
twang. I was about to say tang, but I guess tang too. <laughs> Tangy twang. It takes a little bit of it out so it looks a little bit more warmer than I like it, but not so orangey. But still, it's not the bronzer I would like rush out for. I do like the blush. But again, the blush just feels warm. I was looking more for like a cooler neutral tone moment. I just, I just didn't have it. And it's whatever, it is what it is. The finishing powders, I really like those. I like those a lot. And the highlighter, highlighter's good. I feel like the highlighters in these palettes are usually uh, pretty stellar. And uh, this one doesn't disappoint. Now, <sighs> I don't know if I want to get the um, Evil Eye palette. I need to see it in person because I want to see if those colors are like warm leaning because if they are it's like why would I just why would I buy two warm leaning palettes? Kind of hoping that maybe I'm stupid and this was the warmer palette and that palette's supposed to be a little bit more neutral or cool tone. Maybe I got it twisted. That could be entirely true. It's probably true because I am a dum-dum but I don't, I don't know. We're gonna find out but I want to see it in the store and I think they have it actually at the um, Sephora that's close to me so I'm I'm gonna go check that out and if I like it I do, would not pick it up for $90. I would just wait for a sale and just hope that I'm able to snag it <laughs> during the next Sephora sale. I'm happier with my purchase now. At first, I was not happy. I was kind of really bummed out because I was like, fuck, I spent $90 and it's bullshit. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you just need to have four days without air conditioning to really put things in perspective. <laughs> And I am willing to come around and actually, dare I say, like this product. Do I recommend it? Eh, I don't know. Like I still think $90 is a lot of money and compared to like how much use I'm going to get out of it, I feel like it's not going to be that much. I still use my other palettes like from last year, uh, like the jellyfish one. I use that a lot, um, but I just don't think I'm going to be using this one as much as I want to. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm hopeful that maybe the other one is a, a little bit more my speed. Better than expected. All right. This. Ugh. You see what I'm talking about? Like, I mean, okay, like my skin does look good, but I think it's also because I put the hourglass shit on top of it to really just try to mellow it out. But I, I don't love this. Um, I don't love the glitter formula and I wish they really just never did that. It is super fine glitter that just kind of flies everywhere. And as you start to buff it out, it buffs into nothing, which really is a mind but the third time I did it, it started to cling on uh, to this portion of my cheek, creating texture that I didn't know I even had. So I don't love that uh, so much. Um, this is like my fifth time playing, no, probably like my fifth or sixth time playing with this palette. And I think today was probably the best day where, <laughs> where I was able to get a little bit um, of something to stay on. My problem with this palette was when I first got it, nothing was happening. I was like, where, where is the pigment? Like, where is it? I think after using it and really kind of like digging into the pans, like I'm starting to see it, but that's also kind of a pain in the ass because I shouldn't have to do that for this. I shouldn't have to work that hard for this thing, but yet I did and it's annoying and I hate it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't love that. That said, I don't think this is one that I will pick up ever again, probably, honestly, after this month. I'll <laughs> I don't think I will. I know, I take that back. I'm gonna try because I did pay fucking 60 bucks for this pretty much. So I wanna see if, I don't know, maybe, maybe I will change my mind. But like the blush is pretty much just a highlighter. I don't know why they're marketing it as a blush. The strobe barely shows up, that coral shade. Both the icy blue and the white are weird. Like the white shade at least has something. The icy blue doesn't really have um, a lot of opacity. I don't know, it's just a weird, it's a weird little quad. And I just don't think, I don't think it's worth it and it makes me sad because I love these backstage quads and I think they're so fun but mm -mm. if you have never tried these before I highly recommend getting the universal one at least that one is like ooh, tried and true so good this I would completely skip out unless you like glitter unless you like that nonsense glitter bukkake then maybe you might like this but if you don't like that then you are gonna hate this so I would say no 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 that's a waste of money I hate it <laughs> I hate it. Okay, now moving on to the eyeshadow palette. So this is the Vamp palette. And again, initially I was gonna talk about Poison Garden, but you know, you know how it is. Nobody gives a shit about <laughs> makeup that's old. People care about the new stuff. So, and I say that very facetiously, by the way. Um, but I wanted to mention this one because this is literally coming out uh, next week or the end of this week, I forget. But anyway, 
this was fun. This was fun. I do appreciate that some of these shades came with like a little hat because they're like smushy. So I like that when I opened this palette up, they had like little covers for them to, in, to ensure that they were going to stay in Japan and all that good stuff. And I'm happy that they did. Yay. We love that. Um, now granted, I didn't use this portion of the palette with the exception of uh, Skin of a Killer, which I did put in the uh, inner corner and I think it's beautiful, but I really stayed more towards this side. I kind of wanted to play with the silver because y'all know I do love a good Tin Man silver and this is a great one. It's not quite my Moschino Bear palette. It's a little bit on the darker side, but it doesn't have that like blue tinge or pink or purple tinge. It just seems like a straight up dark silver and I love it. I think it just paired really beautifully with the gray and the light blue. I think this looks cute. Like I, again, look like a shitty, annoying gothic barista, um, but I'm here for it. <laughs> Anyway, I can't wait to kind of play more with some of these shades to, to really get a feel for it, but I like this so far. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, like this color story compared to this color story, I think Poison Garden is a better color story. This, I feel like is kind of like quintessential Halloween palette. It, you know, it's dark, it's brooding. It's, you know, has like that big pop of red in there. It's very vampiric. And I think that's really cute, but I think think you kind of get more variety out of this one. And if you wanted that spooky ooky shit, you have that here, especially with the oranges and the purples and the greens and actually pretty much all of this whole palette. But you also have some sweet moments too, like a nice like wintry mix as well. Like I think this is an overall a better rounded palette compared to the vamp palette. So if you're looking for like a straight up fun little Halloween number that is probably, if we're going to be honest here, you're probably not going to use it as much because I feel like these colors are just like perfect for the period that we're in now, but then after this, I don't know, like we, we really don't kind of gravitate towards these colors, right? And maybe that's, you know, scandalous what I'm saying, salacious if you will, but just being realistic here, like I feel like this is a, a much more user-friendly color story and I feel like you can use this a hell of a lot more than you would the Vamp palette. But who the fuck am I? That's just my own opinion on the matter, right? If you're looking for a fun vampiric moment, I think you should go check this out. Of course, I'll let you know in like an updated video um, uh, how the flakier kind of shades uh, work for me. I'm a little scared to be honest because I'm not a huge fan of flaky eyeshadows, but um, here's hoping that it's not gonna be Fallout City. But um, yeah, no, this was fun. Again, I love this little look that I created. I think I look like a bitch and I'm here for it. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, I'll leave all the information down below on when this will launch. Um, but again, if you had a choice between the two, I would say Poison Garden all the way. I am a Poison Garden stan for sure. Any hoosies. Um, those are my two cents. I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products and if you are loving them or hating them or whatever, let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, let me know what else you would like to see on Trying New Makeup Mondays uh, because I do have quite a bit. Uh, next week, we're gonna show another palette that is gonna be launching, which I'm gonna shut up about. Uh, it's an indie brand, so wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And then uh, we're gonna use the NARS palette because I also got the holiday NARS palette as well as the new, weird NYX um, primers. I don't know. Or actually, no shit. Maybe we'll use that the following week because we have to talk about that milk makeup debacle. Yeah, that'll be next week. Okay. Anyway, we're going to be doing that stuff. But of course, do let me know if there are any products that you would like to see me try. Um, all ears. And that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. And thank you to my beautiful uh, patrons and wonderful YouTube members for keeping this garbage boat afloat. I love your face. And I'll see y'all real, real soon. Wednesday more or less. And um, yeah, that's all I got. All right. Bye. That was awkward. Bye. <laughs> uh, bye.